And thanks for checking in to Weatherbug on this Thursday. Meteorologist Todd Nelson with a look at your National Coast to Coast forecast. It is going to be warming up a little bit more here in the east. Talking about some cooler temperatures in the southwest with that very slow moving low pressure system. And what this will do is actually help to kick out several days of severe weather and some very wet weather for places that really do need it. The only thing that I'm uh, worried about a little bit now is because it has been so dry, if we get all this rain coming up over the next several days, which could be upwards of, say, two to four inches, well, that could lead to some flooding. Temperatures in the midsection of the nation, very warm, 94 in Wichita. Again, staying above average here. St. Louis, Dallas, not uh, terribly warm compared to average, but notice D.C. and Atlanta, anywhere from 5 to nearly 10 degrees above average. We do expect to see some showers and thunderstorms again on the outer periphery of this warmth and uh, humidity here. Denver down to, say, New Mexico and Texas expected to get some thunderstorm activity. We do have a fire threat today, which is elevated in these areas from, I'll say, Durango, Colorado, down to Tucson and then east into New Mexico. And that's out ahead of the storm system again, which is bringing us a little bit of rain, not as much as we'd like to see. But again, the overall slow-moving storm system will allow that moisture to pull up out ahead of it. So your severe threat on this Thursday in pockets from New York down into uh, Tennessee and then back along the Front Range and then West Texas. So any one of these particular areas certainly could kick out hail, high winds and maybe even an isolated tornado. And then heading into our Friday, that threat shifting down here into the southeast. Just some general thunderstorms. Couldn't rule out a nice that is strong storm, but this is the area that we're really going to be watching here for Friday and Saturday. And again, hail, high winds and isolated tornadoes. But just take a look at how much rain we could be talking about. Again, upwards of several inches, possibly two to four inches by the time this is all said and done over the next five days.